have a look back at how the VinFast Ironman World Championship played out today. The oh cannon God. fired Didi, and it was off to the races. Take it away. Off to the races indeed, and a very, very fast Lucy Charles Barkley as if shot out of the canyon. cannon, literally. We thought maybe there would be a large swim pack, but Lucy had other plans. She used that tremendous get-out speed uh, to establish a gap early and managed to hold on to it against a group of chasers that included the likes of, oh, Lauren Brandon, not surprisingly, and other superstar swimmers. Haley Chura, Taylor Nib, uh, Zelinska, because they were all there. And guess what, Didi? It was over a minute. Uh, when she got to shore, a minute 30, she even made a slight snafu on navigation there. But she closed out the Roca swim course, one big lap in 49 minutes and change. And look at this, out into that massive and historic and, and a transition, she stayed in front of all of these chasers, not just on the pier, but all day long. All day long and through transition, they came streaming one by one on this historic day of women only. Lucy Charles Barkley, the first one on to the full gas bike course and full gas, she went from the get-go. That's right. You saw Taylor Nib getting past all of those other players and said, you know what? I may be a rookie, but I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to get out and go to the second position, which I'll hold all day. And this was a nice move here from Els Visser. Yeah, Els Visser made a very aggressive move. We thought maybe she would be a player, a bit of a dark horse to land on the podium. Uh, it was the turn in Javi where Lucy Charles Barkley looked back, saw Taylor Nib at about two and a half minutes back, but it had established a really comfortable gap on the rest of the significant chasers. She came off the bike in 432 with a giant lead. She just never looked back. Lucy Charles Barkley rocked it. And this woman, a five-time Ironman world champ, Daniela Reef tried to make a game chase. It was a quick transition for Lucy Charles Barkley, who set out on this marathon course looking fantastic. The rookie Taylor Nib also soaking up the vibes uh, heading out on to the Hoka run course. And here we saw a lead change out on the Queen Kaahumanu. That is, of course, Anna Haug rolling past her countrywoman, Laura Phillip. She took second and kept charging. Look at the assertive move she made into the energy lab, kept us guessing would she ca catch the race leader or second place. Here, Lucy Charles Barclay and there, Taylor Nib. Yeah, Lucy Charles Barclay just looks so strong. Uh, Taylor Nib did fall to the fast-footed German uh, coming out of the Natural Energy Lab as Annie Haug moved her way into second place. She did, and this woman did what no one's done since Dave Scott. She won wire to wire, first out of the water, first off the bike, and clearly taking out a course record here at the VinFast Ironman World Championship. First place for Lucy Charles Barclay. Congratulations. The emotion absolutely says it all. Annie Haug uh, ran as hard as she could, couldn't close down, but rounds out her podium position, finishing in second place. And it took a 248 course record Hoka Marathon to get it done. Laura Phillip, uh, lots of gratitude and clear emotion to hit that third step on the podium. Uh, third place, wow, what a victory. And Taylor Nib, you saw her finish there. Fourth place, 835. Now.